Well, all right, it's one of my first milestone videos here on the channel. I um, am a little nervous making this video just because I know uh, when you tend to talk about these things, uh, sometimes they'll get a bit redacted, sometimes things happen, but I have faith in my, my guys and everybody who subscribed to the channel that nothing bad's gonna happen. So uh, here we go. Thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. The amount of time we did this is crazy. It's so fucking crazy. It's, we, I made this channel in January. Like, that should not be a thing. That should not be possible, but it is thanks to you guys. I mean, when it came to this channel, I genuinely wasn't thinking about subscribers and I know that's like a thing a lot of YouTubers say and you know when it comes to the viewership a lot of people are like oh you know I don't look at it but gen like genuinely this channel was a second channel when I first started I had a main channel uh, called plus for life it was my regular channel I did a lot of uh, other gaming content and that channel has uh, 7k subs around 7 almost 8k subs I stopped uploading on that channel completely because when I first started that channel, I did a lot of wrestling content and I kind of fell off of that because after 2K19 and then 2K20 came out, there was a lot of mishap when it comes down to, you know, when it comes down to WWE games. So I kind of fell off of it. But that love for wrestling never went away. That that love for, for wrestling always stayed exactly where it's at, where it's at now even. And I needed to find it again. I needed to find that push again when it came to the other channel. I tried switching up and doing so many different things in, in Manu just to get to a thousand subscribers. It took me the first three years to find myself to really establish like what the channel is. Like I already had hundreds of videos on the channel at that point. It was just so much that was already done at that point and I and I just I just felt like it's kind of just run its course and I made this channel with complete intention of just doing universe mode content I mean everything else you see is well I'll explain it but just universe mode content was what you guys were supposed to see it was just that nothing more nothing less everything else is just eh, you know um and, and that was gonna kind of be like my thing I do every Saturday you know the Saturday Night Raws that was like my big project videos because I did it I did a thing called cut comms on my other channel where it was just cut 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 every day something random and that's kind of what I did but I wanted to do something that like I can really be proud of I wanted to really work on a video and have time cooking it and stewing it you know what I'm saying have really have time with it and that's where universe mode came in and throughout season one it did good you know what i'm saying it did fairly decent and even up until last uh or two months ago or almost two months ago when we did wrestlemania even then the channel i wouldn't say universal mode was established i mean even now i wouldn't say it's established but i definitely am more into it than i was before before it was just like a week by week thing like when i make videos i make them if i don't i don't like i didn't care nobody cared it was just a thing when i started to get the reception that i have now from you guys that changed everything I, I my love not only for youtube came back but my passion for for content creation came back and it came back in the best way possible it came back with wrestling wrestling has always been my escape wwe um when i used to watch the impact that was like one of the first things i got into in 2010 that was like uh, that was my first guy into wrestling i was a little, a little kid a little itty bitty and i loved it i loved every second of it it, it was amazing I, I used to love um what was it 2012 2013 i'd say when we had a, a ziggler biggie langston and aj lee do their thing um i watched live when ziggler won his first world heavyweight championship when he beat alberto del rio i was kind of upset because i was like yo the man just lost the match how you gonna make him lose so much as far as wrestling has changed over the years and so much as far as me as a person has changed over the years but the one consistent thing has been that it's been wrestling like i've never fell out of love with it it's just when it comes down to a content creation you know wise i kind of fell off of it a little bit in this video i want to explain to you guys what's next for me as far as universe mode as far as my rise as far as anything you see i want to explain what's next i want to explain a, an idea i have for you guys for content i want to see if you guys are into it um again first off thank you for 1000 subscribers this this is what I want to do. I, I thought that for a while, I thought that as far as careers, I was going to have to try to find something else to do. But now as I sit here, not even now, once I seen how much we were growing, once I seen how much I'm, people were actually enjoying something that I'm, I'm going to get emotional. The fact that, you know, I can sit down and, and it takes me a long time to make these universe mode videos, you know? So the fact that I can, 
I could sit down and it takes a week to get an episode out and I know that seems crazy but it's the process so far I feel like as the seasons go we'll probably get a little faster with it maybe introduce a new brand I don't know I don't know we'll see but the fact that like I can sit down and really make a video and people can not only just comment like hey good video but they can talk about what they like in the video they can explain to me certain things that they may feel like shouldn't be a thing and and they'll call out certain errors and and don't get me wrong like that's not a bad thing at all that's great like when you guys call out little things little errors or something i don't look at that as oh this dude's being a hater oh this girl's being a i look at it as like thank you like now that i know that that happened in the next episode i'll make sure that doesn't carry over like you guys probably noticed throughout the the king of the ring tournament i made a little bit of a technical error when it came down to the tournament with solo and priest i got called out on it immediately and i and i love that because now when i look at brackets when i look at putting match cards together i make sure that everything lines up if i'm talking about something that's happened in the next episode i'll make sure the match card says next episode so that way people don't get it confused with tonight like it's little things like that that make me a better content creator and 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 make you guys an overall better fan base i don't fuck a fan base people i love you guys like that's the best way i can put it like this is genuinely my dream anybody can tell you that when i was 13 when i first made my channel i always wanted to do this and even though it's carried over to a different channel i'm just happy that people were actually liking the content that I'm making like I, I know not everybody's gonna be a fan of it I know there's gonna be some people that like it more than others but you guys like it and that's all I've ever wanted and, and after that after realizing that after seeing that this is genuinely what I want to do with my life this is what I want to do as a career I want to be this I want to create content I want to create wrestling content I want to go into seven eight seasons of universe mode I want to continue the my rise series that trust me i have a good story cooking up with the draft coming up so just look out for that just amazing amazing subscribers i mean you guys are awesome you guys support the content that you guys don't even want to see because it's me it's just amazing and the fact that i can talk about this the fact that i can really genuinely talk about this with you guys is just it's amazing in itself and, and i don't know how this video is gonna do and i don't know how people are gonna look at it but i just felt like People were telling me not to even mention it, not to even say anything about the thousand subs because, you know, people tend to unsubscribe and it's true. But you guys get, have given me a feeling that I haven't felt in such a long time. Like, I genuinely feel rejuvenated. Like, this right here is pushing me to do everything else I'm doing in my life. Like, I love this this is what i want to do i genuinely love this and i know it's just like a repeat rinse and repeat over and over but i just feel like it's important for you guys to understand how badly i want this and not only how badly i want this i don't want it to be given to me i the same way i fought for that i want to continue to fight i want to continue to drop bangers i want to continue to give you guys the best content you can see my goal is to be one of the best universe mode channels ever not as far as a gameplay stance, not about being funny, storytelling, professional wrestling, commentating, the way you put the, the production together. I want to be known as the best, but for now, I'll settle as one of the best. But that right there in my mind, the fact that that's driving me, I'm going to push. I'm going to push my heart out. When If you guys think what you've been getting is good, just wait. Like, like I, this isn't even me being cocky. This is just me saying that, like, I have so much built up that I'm trying to do. Like, literally, if you guys can tell, King of the Ring was the big thing after Mania. And King of the Ring really leads into SummerSlam. We have two pay-per-views to get through. We have the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, which should be taking place next week on, the, on May 7th. And then we have uh, Unforgiven. That's going to be a pay-per-view brought back. And that's going to be a pay-per-view taking place after May. And the goal is for around July is for SummerSlam. SummerSlam, I plan on being one of the biggest pay-per-views I make on this channel as far as production. I mean, I'm talking Murph's level of content, dude. Like, and I know I'm never going to be on that level. I know I'm never going to be, like, on his level of making content. But, like, that's the goal. That's the dream right there. Like, that, that, that's the... That's the, you know what I'm saying, the peak. But I just want to be the best version of myself. I want to be one of the best people that make Universal Mode videos. I want people to continue to enjoy the My Rise content. I just want to do whatever I can possibly do to make this channel one of the best wrestling channels. To make this channel one of the go-to destinations if you're feeling low, if you're feeling like 
nothing's working out for you and you feel like you just you feel like wrestling's your escape i i want to be that for you genuinely because that's what wrestling was for me for such a long time whenever i would go through anything i'd go through in my life and I, i'm only 20 i'm i'm not old at all I, i'm a very young person i'm a little old in my my mind but i'm a very old young person you know what i'm saying like i but i go through stuff everybody goes through stuff and and you know like other people you know what i'm saying wrestling is i don't know how to say it like that sadness that anger you know whatever you're feeling wrestling always pushed me out of it wrestling always gave me that different light wrestling always gave me a hope of just a different reality and it's just something to sink my teeth into even if it's for 30 minutes even if for, if it's for raw for three hours it's something to take me away from the real world and if i can do that for anybody that's the goal that's the push that's the grind right there if i do that for you just know that that's not going anywhere i am not going anywhere i'm not going to be one of those channels that pop off and then they go away i'm here to stay i plan on being here to stay i i want to get to a point where we do upload way more than we upload now but it's gonna take time and i understand that and just know with the content that i have ready and i, I finally got 2k over on console because the pc side of things are a little broken right now when it comes to 2k got it over here everything i waited to make this video because i wanted to wait until i had everything set up in the game and now i have everything set up the way i did over here so now i'm really ready to dive back in the way it was i know it slowed down for a little bit but that was the reason why now i'm ready i didn't want to just drop half-ass content i want to make sure everything was perfect and it's right now it's close it's so close and i know that nobody's perfect i know nothing can be perfect but if i can be close that's all i care about i'm going to push to be the best for anybody that is willing to give me the time of day thank you guys so so much this is already a dream come true and I'm, I'm just ready to push i'm just ready to keep pushing hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did you know what to do hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you will let's cook